Hi, it's Mark from Top Local. We're here with Bernie Pollock of Pollock Automotive in Vancouver. We're talking cars, and we're going to talk about how reliable Audi Q7s are. How are you doing this morning, Bernie? Doing really well. So, Audi Q7, Q7s, how um, are they reliable? Yeah, they're fairly reliable. Um, I, I mean, you know, to me, sometimes I define reliability as can you walk, get into your vehicle in the morning and will it start every time? And the answer is, of course, as long as you maintain your vehicle, uh, yes, they, they are quite reliable. There's not too many surprise issues with these vehicles. They're, they're pretty good overall. Um, yeah. So what items do you typically repair? Well, a lot of brakes. Uh, brakes don't last very long in these vehicles. Uh, they're also very expensive to fix. Uh, tires also wear out pretty quickly. I mean, those are sort of the bulk of what we do on these vehicles. Also, oil services, but because they use you know synthetic oil and they have a pretty large capacity oil pan, you don't have to change the oil as frequently as you do on a sort of typical vehicle. But those are those are the main items that we do. So why do brakes wear out so quickly? Well, that's a that's something that uh, has puzzled me in a lot of these larger European sport utility vehicles, um, Porsche Cayennes, um, Audi Q7s, Range Rovers as well. You know, they use a very large brake pad. They use a large brake rotor. You think that that should last a long time, but uh, you know that they're, they're heavy vehicles and the the braking is very aggressive on them. You know, for safety reasons. So I think that's part of what what causes them to wear out so quickly. But if you own one of these, expect you're gonna be doing a brake job, you know, every 30 to 50,000 kilometers. And it's always pads and rotors that wear every time. Wow. And what about tires? Why do they wear out so quickly? Again, it, it's a sporty vehicle. They use a large tire, but they're not, they're more of a sports tire as opposed to being a, you know, a long life truck tire. So again, it's there for the ride, it's there for the handling. And so these tires just don't last quite as long. And rotating them regularly is critical because they start wearing funny and then they're then they're worn out. So you know you're again with tires. If you get fifty thousand kilometers out of a set, you you'd be lucky. Okay, wow. Again, so what about engine concerns? Any of those? Overall, the engines are pretty reliable. Although we did uh, you know speak at our last hangout about a, an oil rather expensive to repair oil leak on a four point two liter V eight. Um, so things do happen, but generally they're pretty reliable. Um, some of the concerns we do find are uh, ignition coils wear out. Uh, this is pretty common on Audis. Fortunately, the coils are, are really cheap. So um, I think the Audi uses the same coils from a four-cylinder to a V8 all over the place. So they're they're surprisingly inexpensive. But there is on a V8, for instance, there is eight of them. So once they start going, you should change them all. Um, uh, intake manifolds uh, on the 4.2 liter. There's a there's a flapper inside the intake manifold that, that can wear out and break, uh, and that uh, can cause the check engine light to come on. In extreme circumstances, little bits and pieces can fall into the engine and jam up valves and cause some pretty serious problems. So that's another issue. But overall, the, the engines are pretty reliable, uh, but they can be very expensive to fix, as, as again, if you look at our other previous hangout uh, on the Audi oil leak situation. Um, there's a variety of engines in these vehicles too. You, there's a 3.6 liter VR6, good engine. Uh, 4.2 liter V8, again, run really what really good engine. And then there's a few different diesel options as well. Uh, the three liter diesel seems to be the most common, the turbo diesel. But there's a V8 as well. And I actually uh, never seen this, but I did, did a little research. There's actually a, a V12 diesel that's available for three different model years. It's got uh, 493 horsepower and 738 foot-pounds of torque. Now that would, that would just be an awesome ride. I, I've, I've never actually seen one. I don't know how many of how many of them they made, but uh, I don't know that I even want to be around to repair it. You know, when own that vehicle when it comes time to repair it. But I thought that was a pretty specification-wise, it's pretty cool. So, are there any maintenance services that you would recommend as essential to, if you own one of these vehicles? There's a photo. There's a photo of a Q7 just to just to add a little uh, flavor to our our talk. Um, maintenance services. Um, you know, oil regular oil changes are critical. Uh, the, the intervals on these vehicles are long, like a lot of European cars. I would shorten them up by you know, go 75% of the length. So if it's 20,000 kilometers, do the oil change at 15. If it's 15, do it at about 10 to 12,000. Better to do it sooner than later. You know, is uh, it's, again, if you look at our hangout with the oil leak and you look at the, the timing chains and things in the back of the engine, you just don't want these things to wear out. You don't want you don't want to be faced with a repair bill for something like that. So, so 
So that's critical. If you own a diesel, you really need to drive that vehicle a lot. You need, it needs to get warm. Good highway drives are important. If you're just doing little short five kilometer commutes, you're really doing a disservice to that diesel and it's gonna cost you a lot of money to fix in the long run. Um, so yeah, regular oil changes and regular services, rotate the tires, uh, inspections every year or so, depending on how much you drive. Those, those are the critical things. This vehicle was, the platform was built with VW and, and Porsche, and they have their own versions, the Touareg and the Cayenne. How does the Q7 stack up against those? Well, the Q7 and the Touareg are really quite similar. Uh, they, they use the same en same lines of engines, although I believe, I believe the Touareg actually comes, is available with a W12 V8, which is, you know, again, a ridiculously complicated engine. Uh, but, uh, but the Porsche, I mean, it's a similar vehicle, but they, they've got their own drivetrains, they've got their own suspension systems and their own engines. And quite honestly, the earlier, the earlier versions of the Cayenne were uh, a disaster. It was the first V8 that uh, Porsche had done since the 928, and uh, they really botched it up for a few model years. I think the newer ones are better, but those older 05 to 08 kind of era would be a vehicle definitely to avoid. So uh, anyways, I, you know, the, I say the key, if, if I was going to choose any of, the, of that particular line, I'd go with the Audi because it's got the, uh, you know, it's got the nice luxury features and it's a step up from the Volkswagen. So if you're going to have you know, problems with it, at least you've got the, the more luxurious vehicle. Although the Touareg is very nice. So there you go. If you're looking for service for your Audi Q7 or any Audi in Vancouver, the guys to see your Pollock Automotive, you can reach them at 604-327-7112 or on their website, pollockautomotive.com. Thanks, Bernie. Thanks, Mark.